everyone. This is the Art of the Startup online business. My name is Megan Guerrero and I'm the Community and Economic Development Agent in Willacy County for the Cooperative Extension Program through Prairie View A&M University. And today I'm going to talk about starting your business uh, and also expanding your business into an online store. So through the presentation I'll go through the startup process and I'll also cover what a mock website looks like. So let's get started. This program was developed by specialist Talia Washington and I, uh, the art of the startup online business where we presented uh, in front of small business owners and we talked about some of the topics of the DIY website development, accepting payments, taxes, finding inventory, and then what type of license you'll need to sell online. Doing research for your market. Do your research. Is there, you need to ask yourself, is there an, a need for your anticipated product or service? So these are just some general questions I've documented. Um, how will you fit your business into the market? What's trending and what will be trending in future business? Um, how, how is there different companies offering similar products or services and what does the competition look like? I also linked below um, some research engines where you'll be able to kind of go on there and check to see what, what is trending, ask yourself some of those questions and then just document what you find so you get a better idea of what your prospective market looks like. Starting your business. Once you start your business, you need a name. So I would double check with um, the Texas Secretary of State's office to see to check to see if your business name is is not taken. If it's already taken, you may have to adjust your name. Um, but you could also use the link below, which is www.sos.state. Texas um, to check to see if your name is taken. If it's not, then you should register your name. Your business structure. Determine what business structure is going to work for your business. Some of the most common ones that we hear are our LLC, our S Corp, C Corp, sole proprietorship, and DBA. Um, the top link that I have here is the legal zoom which if you were to go to www.legalzoom.com they have different options where they you give them the information that they need and they kind of they work on it for you but there is a fee included um then the second link is the llc papers at the texas secretary of state office that one you would do it yourself um and then once you get all those documents in order, you would get your comptroller's license to get to start applying for your state tax. Um, so that's that third link, which is the comptroller.texas.gov. So here I have two links, which is the comptrollers for taxes. And um, if your business is, is going to be charging tax for either its service product, um, you might want to check with the comptroller's office to see if you need to be charging taxes or not. Um, my best advice for you is just to double check that your product or service is taxable um, and then they'll be able to guide you and let you know what how it works and what you need to be doing. Um, the second link is for food establishments. If you're getting star started as a food establishment, you will need that link. Um, so you'll go on there and there's an online application that you can fill out and submit. In the image below, we have our Texas our sales tax license and permit. Um, so this is what the Texas sales tax permit looks like. Um, so when the comptroller's office comes by or just does a checkup, um, this is the license that they will be looking for to make sure you're current with um, you ma your ID matches your business name. Um, and if you're current on taxes. In our second addition to that slide is applying for a permit. So if you're a new business, um, like I said, you will have to check with the comptroller's office to double check if 
your product or service is taxable. Um, so there is, in the first image, we have the person going to the comptroller.com. Um, then we have them here as a returning user um, login. So the returning user login, it'll either show if you've already registered and you're just continuing your business, you would just sign up there with your username, your user ID and password. And then if you're new and you're creating one, you would click sign up. And then the third image below is the first time user creating a profile. Um, so you would put in your all the necessary information to create those documents. And then the next slide, we'll talk a little bit about paying taxes. So filing taxes. Filing taxes, um, depending on your business, it could be quarterly, it could be yearly. Um, so you would file an original return when you're filing your taxes and that once you set up your information, it should tell you whether you're filing, filing quarterly or you're filing yearly. Um, so you'll want to check with that as well with the comptroller. Um, you would file, in this example, it's showing quarterly. Um, so we would file original return and then we'd go to our second document, which is they are paying their taxes for the pay period ending in 10-31-2017 and their due date is 11-20-2017. So they'd click on that where that little blue dot is and then we'd come down and you would fill out the necessary information for the original return. And then in the last one, we will, with once you have all your information, from your accounting documents, showing all your total sales, your taxable sales, and your taxable purchases. You would click continue and then it would generate what you would be paying back to the comptroller's office. Um, and then if there's other payment methods that need to be established, then that would be once you, once you enter all your necessary information. So taking payments. In taking payments, these are some of the common ones we hear about, which is Square, PayPal, Shopify. Um, and so with this, I linked a article on how to get started with Square since today I will be showing a Square powered website. Um, and this is a tool that's very easy to use uh, because it's an accounting system as well as an inventory system. And I powered my website with all of that. Um, and this, so this is going to manage everything. It'll have all my inventory. It'll have my accounting system. And then it's also going to be powering my online store. So all those three linked together will help me keep track of everything I need in my business. So that getting started link square um, will will show you how to get started and um, what you need to be doing um, to get everything working and to your liking. So inventory, and with inventory, um, I used to own a boutique and so we would buy everything wholesale and one of the places that we would uh, buy our inventory from was Fashion Go. Um, so that has all types of vendors. It has uh, women's anything. Um, they have men's, kids and more. Um, so we would buy everything there through our Fashion Go um, and then if you're making homemade products, which are the pillows below, um, if you're making soaps, whatever it is that you're making, um, you know, you know where you're going to be getting your supplies from or your inventory or even if you're providing a service. So on the next slide, I'll show you what the mock website looks like. Um, and this is basically showing what it looks like on the home page. Um, it shows that you can shop now. If you were to click shop now, it would take you to shop all and um, it'll show you my inventory. And so here I have a quick little video that we'd be able to watch. Here we go. So now we're on the home page and we're scrolling um, and then we're going to click shop now. Once we click shop now, it's going to show all the inventory. You see something you like, you click it. There's additions that you can make to your inventory. Um, it, I, this is going to show you another pillow. Um, and then you're also able to add to the cart and then buy with Google Pay. Um, there's a lot of additional features you could put on there. Um, and then it takes you to my about page. This is basically our story. It's copyrighted. Um, 
So that's how my Square website works and that's how I set it up. Again, this was a mock website that I created. Um, and then in part two, I plan to do where I can show you how to create the website. So then next, after we have our website powered and up and running, we go to our marketing. Um, it's important to use so our social media platforms to our advantage, so using Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Um, there's a new new platforms coming out, um, so it's important to stay up to date with marketing. Um, using these live features, such as using Facebook Live and Instagram Live, uh, to promote your products or to talk about your mission and your story a little bit more, so people know and you're able to um, get your name out there, but also communicate with your customers through these features. Um, brand representatives and brand ambassadors. When key thing about brand ambassadors and, and brand representatives, they go hand in hand with discount codes because what happens is we can say, hey, you know, if you wanna be a brand representative of our company, uh, we'll give you a discount code you share it to your following um, and we'll in return you know we'll send you some merchandise or there could be where you know the brand representative gets a certain percentage from sales when their following uses their discount code um, so those two go hand in hand and, and implementing those will really help you get out there because you're getting onto different followings um, and then using hashtags hashtags is a key thing because I like to say uh, when I had my boutique, we'd always hashtag, you know, hashtag RGV, the Rio Grande Valley. And using that hashtag, um, we put uh, Rio Grande Valley boutique. So if we were to go and talk to somebody and say, hey, you know, we're from the RGV and then they may not be able to follow us on our, find us on our following, but maybe use the hashtag to follow us, to find us, um, then they'd be able to find it because we've used it. Um, and so they'll be able to find our page, follow us, and then come back um, for future posts. So hashtags are super, super important. So after we start marketing and putting our name out there and our brand out there, we're ready to launch. And so here I just have a ready, set, launch. Um, and this is basically getting your, your business off the ground and letting people know that you've transitioned into online and giving giving them um, opportunities to see your website, such as showing them on social media, uh, putting your name out there, using those brand representatives, using Facebook Live tools, um, and just showing them that you are out there and your um, online store is up and running and maybe even doing a promotion to get traffic on that website. Thank you guys for joining in this presentation today. Um, I will be doing part two and that'll be the development of the website just to give you a rundown on how everything works with the Square website. It is a free website. You can make upgrades for additional fees, um, but overall um, this presentation was just to bring awareness on, on the online opportunities there are. Um, and if you have any more questions, please feel free to comment. Um, and if you have any more questions, um, I can answer them via email or you can contact my office number, which is 956-689-2412. Thank you.